you know what? I will not apologize for my success. And you can call me one take Jay because I'm not, I'm just recording this and it's unedited and I'm just going off some of my feelings right now. I have had some issues in the last couple of years and it seems like, you know, that's the best way to put it, every time that I get some kind of moniker of success in my life, at the same time from friends, family members, associates, onlookers, social media warriors, you can say whatever you want, it seems like if I get a promotion, a raise, I lose weight, I do something that I'm proud of and I'm, I'm thankful that I accomplished, I accomplished. It seemed like as I get success and God enables me to get success, it seemed like somehow or another, maybe, I don't know if the enemy or what, but they're drinking a bottle of Haterade. And I'm not going to apologize for my success. Now, let me tell you where this is coming from. And it, it's a number of things, right? You know, first I'll start with my jobs. I have got promoted and I am a general manager right now with a company, uh, Title Mac, and I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful and listen, because everybody don't know the story, right? So sometimes they say, like, oh, you shouldn't, I can't believe you're there and, you know, wow, or, you know, it, you know, I'll never be this and I'll never be that. When it comes to my job at Title Max, right, and I need y'all to listen to this, I need y'all to understand that at Title Max, it took me three times, three times interviewing there. And those two times, I did not get hired. So that third time when I interviewed at Title Mac, I was in front of a regional manager, a district manager, and a successful general manager. And I had an interview in front of all three of them. And I wanted the job, and I needed the job. And guess what? I had the job. Because I'm still living on Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ. So I will not apologize for the fact that I was able to get that job. Because everybody, they see your glory, but they don't know your story. Let me repeat that. They see your glory, and they don't know your story. Now, let me take, take a look and talk about fitness real quick. Anybody that's been following my fitness journey, I know it's some. Right now, it hasn't been a lot. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay if I get 9 views. I'm okay if I get 900 views. Because it's one person that's touched by the videos that I do. That's what I'm doing it for. I'm proud of what I'm doing. And, and I don't, I, I get, you know, the Bible says pride leads to destruction. So I really need to look that up and understand that. When I say proud, it's not like, oh, it's all about me. It's all about me. But goodness gracious, right now, I am standing in my garage. And I have a video on Facebook. You see the background. You can even look at some of my pictures. I have a video on Facebook. I got videos here on YouTube. And uh, this same place that I'm standing on October the 16th, 2017, I stood here January 21st, January 15th. What's the difference? I was 305 pounds. Today I'm like 230 pounds. And once again, I will not apologize for my success. People are like, man, you know, all these pictures, all these selfies you're taking, these videos you're taking off your shirt. So what? It's my world. It's my life. It's my business. I'm able to do that as a human being in America. See, some of the problems you have in America right now, and I'm just going to preach a little bit. Everybody want to say, oh, they're not judgmental. Everybody say, want to say they're open-minded. But the moment you say something that they don't agree with, now they got something to say against you. Guess what? I was going to vote for uh, President Trump. I voted for President Clinton. I identified as Republican. Now I identify myself as whatever the heck I want to vote for. And that's okay. Because this is America, I am a Christian, and if I sort of serve a Lord and Savior that gives me the choice to choose, why am I going to be put in a box by somebody who's saying I should think this way, do this way, be this way, be that way? No, I'll be the way that God designed me to. Anyway, that was the segue, that was the sign point. What I'm saying is this. Right now in life, I'm at the point where I'm trying to lift heavy. I'm trying to lift as much weight as possible. Some of the weight, some of the machines in the gym, I want to do all the weight. But guess what? And this is what people don't get. Because sometimes people might even see this this top, this top, um, this subject line, this topic that says, I will not apologize for my success. And they will instantly think that I'm a cocky, arrogant fool. They will think that. But here's the deal. There's four parts, and I'm going to end this with this, with me when it comes to fitness. Now, I'll tell, tell you about fitness. Number one, I do what I do because I can do what I can do. I came into this garage. I had 10-pound dumbbell. I had this elliptical machine right here, my buddy, my pal. 
that I still hardly use. I got this exercise bike that I'm right in front of that I still hardly use. I had 10 pound dumbbell, the air stepper, and the jump rope. And I did what I can do so I can do what I can do. I did that. I was successful. Then I took a 10 pound weight and I got 20 pound weight. When the 20 pound weight was too, uh, too light, I got more weight. And I got stronger and stronger and stronger. And guess what? I want to be as strong as possible. I do what I can do so I can do what I can do. And that's for me. Number two, my awards, my satisfaction, my sense of accomplishment right now for me, for me, are my personal records. I want to bench press 400 pounds. I want to bench press 500 pounds. I want to squat five, six, 700 pounds. I want to deadlift four, five, 600 pounds. I want to uh, leg press the machine. I can do all the weight, but I want to do all the weight with proper form. I want to cur- uh, the dumbbells at my gym go up to 125 pounds. I want to press them. I want to shrug them. I want to curl them. I want to do what I want to do. That's my moniker of success. So that's one thing. Number two. In the midst of all the reasons why I do all these things, to me, for me personally, if I'm not helping somebody along the way, what's the point? So, I live the life of obesity. And for those who don't know, and this will be another video, but I have rolled the roller coaster of fitness for the last 18, almost 20 years. I have been in shape and eating like crap to right now I'm eating, I'm in shape and I'm eating a lot better. But I'm not perfect. But what, what I'm saying though is this this is me. This is where I'm at. This is my journey. And, and I'm okay with where I'm at. If you're not okay with where I'm at, then you don't have to follow my journey. But that doesn't mean my journey is going to change because of your preference. Number three. This is a big thing. And this is go back kind of to the state of America. There's all types of ways to get to where you want to go. So in fitness, right? You got weightlifting, you got running, you got hiking, you got walking. People like to do obstacle race courses. People like to do CrossFit. People like to do Pilates, yoga, DDP yoga, um, just stretching, um, plyo, uh, just body weight. And I, I want to warn everybody to be careful because you can get so much on what you like to do that you may intentionally or unintentionally down what other people are doing. I'm going to tell everybody that's watching this video right now, if you walk, I congratulate you. If you can move a finger and that's your source of exercise, I congratulate you. If you can run a marathon, I congrat- congratulate you. I am somebody that believes a couple of things. One, everybody in life needs cheerleaders. You need people on your side to root for you. But I tell you this, if nobody roots for you, if nobody cheers for you, if nobody encourages you, you be your biggest cheerleader. There you go. Number two, one, you need you, you need to believe yourself. I don't even remember the next thing I was going to say. Like I said, it's one take Jake, so I'm just moving on because I don't remember the other thing I was going to say other than I'm, I'm here to help. I'm here to help anybody that's watching this YouTube video. You can share this with your friends, share this with your family members because you're looking at somebody who almost killed themselves. So since I have life and I have new life in Christ, guess what? My message... My mission in life is to help as many people as possible live the best lives as possible so they can reach as much soul in life as reach as much soul as possible for Christ. So at the end of the day for me, when I die and when I go to heaven, God is not going to say, hey, Walter, what you bench? He will say, how many people have you led to my kingdom? And this is a way for me to lead people to the kingdom of heaven. But if some people are turned off, I can say I apologize for being a stumbling block. But right now, this is where I'm at. Okay, the last thing is nutrition. When it comes to nutrition, I'm going to make this very clear, to each its own. What do I mean? People have different paths to get to the where they want to go. They do keto, low-carb, Atkins. Um, they do high-carb, uh, spaghetti diet. I'm making things up, but who knows what's out there. And the thing is, find your niche and do what's comfortable for you. Now, I have a couple of things that I think is very important, so I'll just share my thoughts. One, you want to meet, meet, eat, excuse me, as many unprocessed foods as possible. If you can make it, if you got fresh ingredients with like not a lot of preservatives and stuff, that's going to be good for you, number one. Number two, water. You know, I would say try to get a gallon of water a day, but you can start off with just getting... Whatever your weight is, cut that in half and drink that in ounces for your water. Water brings life. Water refreshes. 
Water rejuvenates. So drink your water. That's number two. Number three, and this is a personal preference, but I'm pretty sure it's kind of prevalent. The soda, the sugary drinks, um, that's just like liquid calories. I mean, it, it builds up the fat. So, you know, try to eliminate that. And even alcohol intake, do it as less as possible. Because a lot of those drinks, they fill you up, they bloat you, but they have no nutritional value. So, those are my three things. The fast food, I say this. Once again, to eat your own, but the less fast food, the better. I say that again. The less fast food, the better. And when you do eat fast food, try to make the healthiest choice choice as possible. Let me just say it like this. God is giving you one body on the earth, right? So let's start to treat our bodies more like Mercedes and less like a 1992 uh, Ford Escort or something. I don't even know if that's a car. Basically what I'm saying is that even when it comes to fast food, you can get dollar burgers all day long. But I'll say this. If you're going to eat fast food, why don't you eat what's best for you? Why don't you eat some of the more pricier stuff with the more quality ingredients? Add more vegetables. Add, uh, take cheese off sometime. Do it without soda and do it with water. Do it with water. But what I'm saying is use this video and take this time right now to, one, if you got negative thinking, uh, stinking thinking, let's go ahead and deal with that right now. I can't do it for you, but I'm saying if you do, if you're drinking Haterade, why don't you pour it out your bottle um, and uh, make changes. I can't do that for you, but I'm saying let's do that because, we, you know, support is appreciated and needed. That's number one. Number two, encourage your brother and sister, man, in this. You know, we all on separate journeys. We all are on separate journeys because we all are separate individuals. But support. I am not doing the same type of workouts that my wife, Samantha, is doing. But I totally support her in everything you do, in everything she does. And, you know, just, just be positive. In this day and age, just be positive. Every day you got posts, you got Instagram things, you got memes, Snapchats of people hating and being negative. Choose just there to be positive. And with that, I'm out. I will not apologize for my success.